This video is sponsored by Filmora Go. Start editing like a pro on your iPhone with Filmora Go. Simply add one of your clips, tap on the clip and you will be able to use one of the amazing editing tools by Filmora Go. Mask your video, rotate your video, speed it up or even reverse the video. You can add stuff like filters simply by tapping on the filter button right there or even add like different effects to your videos. Tap on the effect button, tap on add and you will be able to add any like cool effect you want to your videos. Now once you're done, you can tap right there at the top to choose the resolutions and the frames per second in which you want to save your video. Once you have done that, you just tap the little export button and you're good to go. Make sure you give it a try by checking the link in the description of the video. Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys 10 really important iPhone settings that I believe no user should ever turn off on their iPhone. Now, of course, alongside with these settings, I will also give you guys a reason to why you should never turn off these settings on your device and of course, why they are so important. Another really important thing on this video is of course the like button. That will help the video a lot and let it do much, much better. So make sure you smash the like button. First of all, we're going to the privacy settings and we're going to location services. When you go to location services, right down here, you will find system services. Now here are all the systems that use your location and you have here really important ones that you want to never turn off. And of course, they're right here. Emergency calls and SOS, never turn that off. And of course, find my phone. Now emergency calls and SOS, anytime you need help, your iPhone will call emergency, but it needs to know your location. That's why you should never turn this off. Also find my phone. If you have find my iPhone turned on, but you have the location here disabled, then it won't work. Your iPhone won't be able to know the location. So always make sure that you have these two turned on on your device. Next, we're moving to the iMessage settings and we have here send as SMS. Now send as SMS allows to send messages to people who unfortunately still use other devices, not iPhones and have basically do not have iMessage. Maybe your friends unfortunately still have Androids and they don't have iMessage. So of course you will need to send them the normal SMS and that, that those are the ones with the green bubbles. But if you disable this, you won't be able to send those normal messages to people without iMessage. So always make sure you have this on. If you're And if you're not able to send messages, go ahead and check this out and make sure you have it turned on iOS now has a dedicated section for passwords on the settings app. And if you go here, you have security recommendations. Going here, you will find an option called detect compromised passwords. Always make sure you have that turned on, never turn it off. What it does, it will basically monitor the passwords that you use and will alert you if basically one of those has been compromised or is known to be leaked your iPhone will automatically give you an alert. You can see right here, we have like an alert that it has given to me. That of course is just a random password that I've used just to try this out. You can see compromised and easily guessed password. That's why you wanna never turn off detect compromised passwords. Of course, the find my options are always very important for any iPhone user. Never turn off find my iPhone, find my network and send last location. All of these are great and work really, really well. And now with iOS 15, you will also be able by using find my network to find your device, even though it might be turned off, it will still be able to locate your iPhone. So that's really, really great. Never turn off find my iPhone, find my network, which allows us to find your iPhone when it's offline. And now with iOS 15, even when it's off and of course, send last location. What this does is that it will send Apple the last location of your iPhone when the battery is crucially low. That's why you should never turn off, find my phone, find my network and send last location. Something really important, yet it looks really simple is date and time. Go to general and go to date and time and right here you will find date and time and you have set automatically. Never turn that off. If you turn it off and set the time manually, you will have a lot of problems, especially if you don't set the time and the date right. Your iPhone will have a ton of problems and you will notice them with the App Store, your Apple ID, you will have a ton of problems. So always 
or the best experience with your iPhone, always make sure you have set automatically on time and date turned on. When you go to your face ID and passcode settings, you will have here two really important settings that I suggest every user should keep on all the time. So require attention for face ID. This is really important for the security of your device. It requires you to always have the full attention to your iPhone in order for your iPhone to unlock. That's really important. And then you will have also attention aware features. Never turn that off as well. Now, what this does is that basically it knows that you're watching the phone. So when you're looking at your phone, it won't dim the screen if you don't touch it for a long time. So let's say you have the auto lock at 30 seconds, you're watching something your eye or maybe reading something your iPhone will automatically lock. But with this turned on, when you're watching there, it won't turn it off. That's really great. Also, if you get notifications, the sounds will be really low when you're watching your iPhone because it's detecting your eyes. So that's really, really great. So amazing features with attention aware features. And of course, more security with required attention for face ID. So never turn these off. And with iOS 14, Apple has introduced the new app library. It's really great. One of my favorite features on iOS for a long time. It makes it really easy for you to find any app. Now, when you go to settings and you go to the home screen settings, right here, you will have the options for app library. And right here, you will have show in app library and that's for notification badges. If you disable this, then you won't see any badges for the apps that you have removed from the home screen, but have, of course, on the app library, and you won't know that you have a notification there. So always make sure you keep this turned on. If you have an Apple Watch, then you will find a very important setting on the watch app on your iPhone. So go to the watch app, go to emergency S and SOS, and you will have here fall detection. Now your iPhone will have these options here, which when you, of course, when you enable them, they will of course be mirrored to your Apple watch. So you enable this here, never disable it, and it will also stay on on your Apple watch. And this will basically detect if you're fall and that's really really important and of course we'll initiate an emergency sos call if you take a hard fall so this has has saved a lot of people so always make sure you don't disable fall detection for your apple watch a simple thing that most people probably do already i've suggested this a ton is under battery battery health optimized battery charging you see that 100 percent battery health after six or maybe even now seventh month that's great always keep on optimized battery charging your iphone knows what it's doing and knows when it needs to charge full at 100 percent and when it needs to be only at 80 percent that will save your battery always make sure that you keep this on and last but not least go to the display and brightness settings always make sure that you have dark mode enabled on automatic or if you want to you can keep it enabled all the time but keep it on automatic and that's really important now i'm not just saying this because it's, it's look it looks better or some people prefer the dark mode but it will actually save a ton of battery of course this for devices with oled displays if you have an oled display device the places here on the screen where there is black those are pixels of the device that are turned off. That way, the iPhone will consume way less battery. So always make sure you enable automatic on the light, dark, light and dark mode right here under the display and brightness settings. So that's basically it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead and make sure you have all of these settings turned on on your device. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. Go ahead, leave a like if you did and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys on the next one.